Look at all this soot. I just, yeah. Touch diesel exhaust for five minutes and you're full of soot. That's gross. I don't know why I'm still videoing. sounds like on the back of my Toyota. Mm -hmm. Little 22R with a 4, 5 inch exhaust. I think it's... Yeah, well. Four or five. Probably sound pretty dope. It'd be super low. I might take that now. I don't know. I want to try it, but... Alright, so now... down a little bit. Instead of a gap, it'll have a little bit of a ring. Now, I'm just going to do a little tack weld for right now. Just hold it together. You can see the gap's pretty close. If I wiggle it, it gets a little bit closer. Um, that's not bad. There were some huge gaps over there, so it'll be a lot better. And then, I just got to trim this so it mates about that flush with the exhaust, the existing exhaust on the truck. And I gotta figure out how to hang it. Did I not record that? I thought I recorded that. Well, it's tacked on there now. Well, alrighty there. Then. Alright, right. Where is it? There. Is where the slip fitting is. That's where all those extra little bends are. And that's the area I still gotta weld. And there's the end of the pipe. Brrr. It's still going to be obnoxious, but at least it's going to be obnoxious pointed not in the direction of my head. So it's going to be a lot better. I'm going to throw a conventional exhaust hanger with some real little rubber isolators right here. And that should actually do it. Amazingly. It looks like it all fit pretty well on the first try. I just had to beat this a little bit back into round shape so I could get it on there. Um, yeah, the rest of it looks great, so I'm going to go ahead and weld that up, then I'll move the dodge over to where the welder can reach, and we'll get it welded on there. Probably not go for a spin, but I want to. Eventually we'll go for a spin. to go kind of 
leveled out-ish, mostly. I made this come up just a little bit, because the gap right here is pretty big. Um, kind of try to equal it all out, just make it look aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing, and still have it function properly. And it looks like right here is going to be about exactly what I want. There's about three, quarter of his, three quarters of an inch gap there. Should be just enough. A little spring hanger. That looks good. This gap's alright. I wish it was smaller, but just the height from the body dropping down to the frame is just a little too much. It had to be a pretty steep angle. I tried it, and it just looked really ugly. You could tell it was pointed up like a Bosoku exhaust or something. It was weird. So, right about here is where everything is the most pleased. terrible well you're you're kind of right my welds are not the greatest in the world but this is kind of the farm truck the work truck and they're planning on selling it fairly soon and you should have seen the welds that were under there before they were even worse they were horrid not to mention that big old dent right there the scratches blah blah yada yada long story short we would not do this on any of the show vehicles, quality vehicles, or customer vehicles. We would never do this on your truck unless you were in absolute dire need of an exhaust and barely had enough money to scrape by. And even then, it'd probably look better than this. So, yeah. We'd never do this, do your thing. This stuff isn't bad. It's definitely not great. But if you need just some sort of corro corrosion protection for your exhaust or just need to do a little bit of touch up, it's fine. It, you'll see what it does in a minute. It's super flat, or kind of matte, flat, whatever finish. It's really strange. And uh, if you get one of the colored ones, it'll still change color when it heats up. It's just, I don't know. Whatever. This is actually pretty stout. There's enough wiggle room for the engine, but uh, I mean, really, I push it on that hard, and it's barely moving. You can tell I'm moving more than it is. And yeah, look at this. It's like it's this weird ceramic dust that it turns into. It stays on there pretty well. I mean, um, like when water gets on mine, because we live in Washington, water kind of collects down here, and then as it burns off kind of takes the paint with it so underneath on my exhaust on the very bottom I've got a little rust line all the way around and where even my muffler in the very very back of my exhaust system which is probably about 10 feet away from the header um, changed color it went from I used orange on mine and it turned yellow I'm sure the black isn't nearly as bad at changing color but you can tell like how flat that is compared to whatever finish that is. I don't know if that's a type of paint or if that was some sort of powder coat or some other stuff, I don't know. But it works, it'll get you by.
but if you want to do something super pro, you're going to want to look elsewhere. I think that's why Scott gets everything powder coated, because it's a thousand times better than paint. about that many. In case you can't see it, that's 88 inches, which is over seven feet. That was a bit of a struggle, but Brandon got the exhaust all buttoned up on the Dodge so we can finally think when we drive on parts runs and going to get things and errands. So that stack up there behind our heads, man, I tell you what, you can't even have a regular conversation. Load quads put anything in the back of the truck, garbage, without it getting burnt on the stack. So that's finally nice to have that done. So now, since we're finished with that, we can move on to some bigger, greater, and better things. We can continue working on the fourth horseman, but we're waiting on power steering parts. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching every day. Thanks for your support. We really appreciate it. Check us out at CougarHouseGarage.com. Look at our Facebook forward slash Cougar House Garage. And we are Cougar House Garage on Instagram. Follow us. And we'll see you guys in the next video.